This is the current state of my battle damaged needler chest plate, I guess. And covering a little bit about the firebomb too, which is now completed. Um, this is my ODST that I used in Dallas. I mean, he's not really dressed. He just I threw his chest plate on so that you could have a good idea of what it looked like. Because I can't find any pictures online of it for some reason, even though I don't remember how many were taken. But it got the blood on there, so like I'm injured. There's blood on the chest plate. Running down here. Then it's running down the chest right there, down the belt. Got a couple splatters on the side over here. And this is the needle around. I'm going to do two, but as of right now, I only have one done. See, it glows pretty good. This is in fairly good lighting. Um, there's also a light source over there for daylight. I'm going to show it in low light. As you can see, it shines pretty good. I could probably make it a little better, but... The problem is it's a very narrow channel that the light can travel in, and that's really problematic. Um, right there is a sensor currently in that needler hole spot. You can see the burning and charring and all the goodness of the battle damage. And this side over here is the firebomb. It's causing the camera to adjust for darkness. But it's self-powered now, has its own driver unit. Um, works pretty well. Has a quick release clip, so you can just use your thumb, grab it off. I was posing with it, throwing it around. Well, not throwing, well, I did a 360 shot, and I threw it and impaled the guy's hand on the bottom. But yeah, that bottom plug's not in very good shape. It didn't cast right, but I needed one now. I'll have to replace it later. But top cap's good. Overall, it, it works out pretty well. I still need to find the little supports or order new ones so that it'll be on the outside and not just on the inside medium. But it it's really good, though, I think, personally. Um, it's driven by eight AAA lithium-ion batteries. They're contained in the bottom. Or not AAA, AA's. And then the driver unit is all down there as well. Let's see if I can... Uh, I can't get to the top to pop off, but you get the basic idea. And you just go like that, and clip it back on. There we go. Clip back on. It is also remote control, just like the other ones. So you can set whatever light settings you want. You know, whatever DIY settings, blah, blah. Get the basic idea. Here's the remote. But yeah, go with the orange. Now the chest plate is also color or color changing as well, so I can make it, you know, flash, whatever. Auto, I can quicken it up so it's flashing really fast. Get the basic idea there. Oh, it looks like I can adjust the. I can't adjust. The... Oh, oop. Now you get the basic idea. It'll go between whatever. The helmet does the exact same thing. So. Except for the top set of lights, which also are to the fan, which was in my previous video. But that's about it. And this one did stop bullets. It stopped 9mm, entered there. And this is also a 9mm hit. Uh, 40 hit there, Smith, Smith & Wesson 40 caliber. It stopped. Right where this hole's at is actually a, well, it's been widened. But it was a 45 caliber ACP full metal jacket, and it did not stop it. This was the first generation chest plate, and it only had like two layers of Kevlar and one layer of carbon fiber. So I didn't really expect it to stop much, but I just want to see if it'd stop 9mm. But yeah, that's basically it. 
Oh, yeah, I'll flip off the light real quick. And uh, this is in low light, so you get the basic idea there. Let me switch the chest plate back to its proper color configuration. Oh, now it's not listening. Oh, no, oh, whatever. But yeah, this is in low light, and it shows up pretty good. It has a lot of lights. Um, the runtime on the Firebomb is eight con er, eight hours, because it has a lot of LEDs in it. Where the chest plate only has like six LEDs driving it, so it lasts significantly longer. The helmet is about 16 hours before failure. So, yeah. Pretty cool, but... I'll leave you at that, and uh, 405th, good luck with your projects. Shout out.